He's fantastic. Wherever there is danger, he'll be there. Danger Mouse. Amazing. Danger Mouse. Astounding. Danger Mouse. Journey with us now as we explore the mystery of the velvet blackness of space. Here, among the zillion trillion stars, even time itself can be bent and twisted, and, unbelievable as it may seem, two or more things can inhabit the same area at the same time, coexisting in parallel dimensions. Take this desirable blue-green residence, a modest little planet, but the occupants are an intelligent bunch. They inhabit its surface, always seeking, always striving to solve the mysteries of the cosmos. But at this very moment, one of those mysteries is about to become a menacing reality. It will materialize on the very doorstep of the only champion worthy of its challenge, that modern-day knight in shining white terraline, Danger Mouse. I say, Penfold, why is my rubber duck full of water? <laughs> Penfold, you've been using it as a water pistol again. Penfold. Penfold. Yes, DM, what is it? Do you know my rubber duck's full of water? No, but if you hum it, I'll join in on the second chorus. I mean, there's the doorbell. I don't know that either. The door, Penfold. Oh! The Danger Mouse residence, his faithful assistant Penfold here. Can I help you? No, little man. I want your master. Well, I'm afraid that he's conducting some experiments into the amphibious hydrodynamics of modular elasticity. So, when he's finished playing with his rubber duck, tell him that the demon of the fourth dimension invited him to save the world from the chaos into which I shall plunge it. Got that? <laughs> Oh, Chief! There's a rubber kiosk at the duck, uh, and, he's, and he's going to... Uh, 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 that's all right, Penfold. I heard everything. What, what are we, what are we going to... Don't worry, don't worry. We're going to put a stop to his foul doings before he does them. Um, <coughs> does them. Hey! Oh, oh, egg! Oh, crumbs! Oh, carrots! Steady, Penfold. Steady. Lock the car door so there's no way he can... Ooh! Ow! <laughs> you fiend! What have you done with my car? Parked it for you. Huh, really? Where? In the fourth dimension. <laughs> In the fourth dimension. Watch carefully, unbeliever. Look, I've no time to play about... Hey, hey where's my body? Oh, carrots. He's gone all to pieces and lost his head. Don't panic, Penfold. I'm just over here in the fourth dimension. Hey? Um, well, my head is. Look here, you fiend. I don't know how you've worked this trick, but I want my head back now. Trick? I am the master of time and space. I alone can forge the intercosmic fragments into a hole. That's what I need to get out of here. <laughs> now, about time I forged you into intercosmic fragments. <laughs> oh! <laughs> cool, Chief! What we need is a way out! And what you're going to get is a blackout. <laughs> Ooh, carrots! I don't like the dark! Listen, what's that? Wick! It's a monster! A big, angry monster! Ooh, golly Moses! You nonsense, Penfell. There are lots of voices. Ooh, it's having a tea party! And we're the tea! Ooh, danger mouse! It's not that bad, Penfell. It's... What fresh horror faces our heroes? Can it be worse than being second helpings at a monster's tea party? What will the demon from the fourth dimension do next to confuse our gallant pair? To find out, get yourself a PhD in physics and tune in to the next Farmy episode of Danger Mouse in Demons Aren't Dull. Danger Mouse! Danger Mouse! Danger Mouse! He's the greatest, he's fantastic. Wherever there is danger, he'll be there. Crisis strikes Danger Mouse's HQ as he finds his rubber duck full of water. But before he can punish the culprit, Penfeld, his faithful assistant, is saved by the ring of the doorbell. There, floating on the step, is the demon of the fourth dimension, who challenges our hero to prevent him throwing the world into chaos. Danger Mouse gives chase, but then the demon takes their car into the fourth dimension. Oh! Ah! 
Having lost his transport, Danger Mouse loses his head and Penfold loses his cool. Back down again, he's down and out when there's a blackout. Penfold panics as menacing mutterings dominate the darkness, but Danger Mouse makes light of them, only to be illuminated by a large lantern. What he sees makes him horrified, terrified, and pop-eyed. What is this terror that can strike fear into the fearless? Stay tuned for episode two of Danger Mouse in Demons Aren't Dull. Oh, carrots! Oh, now you're for it! The devils. I might have known they'd get me one day. Yes, ladies and gentlemen. Super athlete, intellectual genius, the world's greatest secret agent, <coughs> Danger Mouse. This was your life. Good grief. Well, thanks, but not now. I'm a little busy saving the world for Wonderful Marvelous, and on we go with the colorful catalog of a life overflowing with bungling incompetence. Oh, well, I suppose if you put it like, I beg your pardon? Let me take you back, ladies and gentlemen, to an early example of this idiot's blundering. You won't have forgotten, Danger Mouse, how you were called in when the world's leaders were being got at with an irresistible laughing gas that sent them off into fits of uncontrollable hysteria. Tracking the instigators of this awesome crime to their hideout inside the head of the statue at the top of Nelson's column, you were lucky enough to find the master criminal's henchmen knocked out by their own gas. But even then, Baron Greenback managed to get to the top of the statue, and when you had him within your grasp, he slipped through your butter fingers. Hey, steady on. I didn't know about the rocket pack. Didn't? No. Wonderful, marvelous, and now to the moment when you track the evil Baron to his Transylvanian castle. Once again, you coped with the small fry, those poor, insignificant robot ghouls. Uh, that must have made you feel so good. But when you got the drop on the master criminal, you didn't arrest him. You just frightened him off. Yes, isn't that amazing incompetence? Yes, but see, I was giving him a taste of his own medicine. I thought he'd be petrified, not... Yes, incredible, incredible ineptitude. Hey, what? Wasn't it you who let the Baron weigh the country down with giant pyramids until it all but sank? And then, with star quality stupidity, you let him take you prisoner. Oh, come on. We escaped. We'd sabotaged his ship. Any minute now, it blows up. I, I, hey, you're not showing what really happened. You're, you're, you're twisting everything. Yes, this Danger Mouse was your life. No, no, that's not true. Now, look, give me a chance. Let me talk to the man in charge. Oh, dear me, Nero, that would never do. Must know that his old friend, Baron Greenback, is the genius who's destroying him. He thinks the world despises him. He'll never trouble us again. <laughs> so you won't even meet me face to face? Oh. oh. What's it matter? I'm finished. The world despises me. Might as well go home and write my resignation. <sighs> Is this really the end of Danger Mouse? Has the white flash turned yellow? Will he hang up his eye patch forever? And is the demon of the fourth dimension waiting in the wings? Tune in to the next incredible, and I do mean that, adventure of Danger Mouse in Demons Aren't Dull. Danger Mouse! Danger Mouse! It was a bad day for Penfold when he opened his boss's front door to find a demon from the fourth dimension where the coconut matting should have been. But before he could hand in his notice, Danger Mouse dragged him in pursuit of the threat to mankind. They had almost given up hope of finding the demon when the demon found them, and Danger Mouse lost his car. Two seconds later, his head went after the car while his body kept Penfold company. Pulling himself together, our hero went for the villain, fell down on the job, and found himself back with Penfold and totally in the dark. Light dawned as he found himself the star of his own spectacular, with his life cascading before him in a cruel and callous cavalcade, creating a cameo of a clumsy clown. But behind it all, the evil Baron Silas Greenback, out to discredit our hero, disillusioned and despondent, Danger Mouse departs to hand in his resignation. Will Colonel K accept it? Stay tuned for episode three of Danger Mouse in Demons Aren't Dull. No, 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 Danger Mouse, you may not resign. I won't have it. I reject it. I forbid it. And what's more, I'd rather you did. It's no use, Colonel. My swashbuckling days as a hero are over. The whole world thinks of me as a fool. I can't go on. I don't think of you as a fool, Chief. 
charming, yes, but not a fool. Thank you, Penfo. But anyone who saw that show will be convinced that I'm an idiot. Exactly. Eh? No one saw it. It was never transmitted. Our agents reckon it was a greenback plot to get you out of the way. Never transmitted? A greenback plot? Back in business, DM. Back in business, sir. Good show. <laughs> <laughs> Penfold? Uh, yes, Chief. What do you mean, Barmy? Oh, no, no, not Barmy. Um, haha, <laughs> or, um, odd. Odd, Penfold. Would you settle for distinguished? That's the word I was looking for. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> yes. But while our heroes engage in cheerful banter, a seemingly forgotten enemy, the demon of the fourth dimension, is busy collecting souvenirs from around the world and transporting them back to his own dimension. Just as well we had a spare car, Benfield. The buses on this route are always late. Yes, Chief. <laughs> oh! But why here, Chief? The demon's already had the Tower of London. Exactly. And he's left a door to the fourth dimension. A door? I can't see any door. Well, of course you can't. Old. It's invisible. An invisible door? Ah, well, if you'd said that, I'd have known what to look for. Um, I think. Look, Penfold, the Tower of London hasn't really vanished. No? No. The demons made a time corridor between our dimension and his and slipped the building through it. Oh, is that all? Poor. Yes. And all we have to do is slip through after him. Ah, just like that. No, just like this. Come on. Oh, whoa. Well, this is the weirdest place I've ever been in. Penfold, what are you doing? Oh, I'm falling, Chief. Penfold, that's absolute... Well, can't let him get away with stunts like that, can we? No, Chief. No. We'll show him who's boss, eh, Penfold? No, uh, no, 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 sir, sir, Chief. <laughs> yes, quite right, Penfold. No, no, quite wrong, Penfold. What are you thinking of? I'm thinking of running for it, then, before he shows us who's boss. Oh, good grief. Is this the end for our heroes, or will they foot it featly and fly to fight the fiendish foe again? Don't miss the next mind-warping episode of Danger Mouse in Demons Aren't Dull. Danger Mouse. Penfold answers the door to a demon of the fourth dimension, daring Danger Mouse to defy his dreadful deeds. Danger Mouse takes on the terrible task, and panicky Penfold keeps close in case he's cornered and caught. Homing the crazy cosmos, they fail to find the foe. Penfold flips, the fellows fall, and find the floor. Frustrate and panting, they perceive the icy eyes of the dangerous demon who looms large, mean, and monolithic. Stay tuned to episode four of Danger Mouse in Demons Aren't Dull. Oh, um, Danger Mouse? Yes, Penfield? I think I'm going to panic. Ah, well, try to keep it short. We haven't a lot of time. Right, Chief. That's better. I needed that. Right, Penfield, if you're sure you've finished, I think we better move. Ready? Ready? Steady? Steady? Go! Penfield, at last, the way out. That's what you think. Come on, Penfield. This way. All right, Chief. I will... Very enterprising, Penfo. But I'm the hero. You're supposed to follow me. Sometimes, Penfo, I wish I was just drawing the cartoons, not starring in them. Sharks! Oh, Owek! What are we going to do? Run for it! Oh, notice anything about this floor? Yes, Chief. It's hard. Yes. And it's where we started from. I recognize the dent. I wish that made me feel better. Ah, but I have a plan. Uh. 
I wish that made me feel better. Tenfold. This could just do the trick. Now look here, Sunshine. What? I hope you're a fully paid up member of the 4D Union. 4D Union? Yes. The Union of the Diabolically Delinquent Dimensional Demons. You mean the 4D Union that's affiliated to the GGG? <laughs> Gremlins, ghouls, ghosts, and things that go whoa in the night. Precisely. Of course, I'm a fully paid up member. So what? Can I remind you of Rule 4, brackets B, para 57, section A, sub para 3D? Uh, 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 um, uh. Which clearly states that any victims not destroyed by the end of Episode 4 have to be returned to their own dimension or. Uh, or, or what? Or your powers are revoked by the boss demon. Oh no. Oh no, not him. He's a nasty bogeyman. Oh yes. Well, this is the end of Episode 4. All right, all right, all right. Maybe you can go back to your own dimension, but please don't tell on me. Well, better get on with it, then. Oh. Car, Chief, we're back. You're a genius. Lucky you knew about those union rules. No, Penfold, lucky he didn't. There's no such rule. You see, I just pulled him. <laughs> well, that's fair enough. Mm hmm? Because he's fooled us. Look. What? Can our heroes survive this sudden and serious shortage of a substantial surface to stand on? Can they defeat the dimensionally devious demon? To find out, don't miss the final mind-whirling episode of Danger Mouse in Demons Aren't Dull. Danger Mouse! Danger Mouse! Danger Wherever there is danger, he'll be there. Danger Mouse. Amazing. Danger Mouse. Astounding. Danger Mouse. Having been harassed in their own front wow. hall by the demon of the fourth dimension, Danger Mouse and Penfo deploy their dynamically driven device, determined to defeat and detain the diabolical delinquent. He whisks them off on a whirlwind tour of his tortuous territory, but Danger Mouse dupes the dopey demon, trying a trick to deliver them down to their own dimension. Disastrously, they don't descend to their desired destination, but few do they fall. Stay tuned for their terminal touchdown in this final episode of Danger Mouse in Demons Aren't Dull. Oh, Chief! I think we've had it! No, not yet, Penfold. This is one for the dispatch department. DM to dispatch, DM to dispatch. Deliver one inflatable landing platform to, um, Trafalgar Square and hurry. Overnight. Ooh! Now, Penfold, one more thing to do. Ah. Ready? Yes, Chief. Right. After three. Three. Ah. Ah. Oh! Ooh. Ooh. Morning, Mr. D-Mouse. Yes, more or less. Package for you. Hmm? All right, one landing platform by special delivery. Oof! Oh. 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 Right, time for a spot of lunch at the club. But what about the demon? Hmm? He can buy his own. Ha, ha, ha! The double dealer. Oh, crumbs! Oh, carrots! Lunch will have to wait. <laughs> Just in time for a demonstration of my awesome powers. Lucky lads, I'm just about to start my lunch. <laughs> Lucky for some. Penfold. I wonder what demons eat. We are not interested in what he eats. It's the entire city of London with Wilsden Green for dessert. Good grief. Oh, well, that's it, then. You're too good for me. Hey? Eh? I'll just have to throw the towel in. I wonder, though, if I might have the usual last request. What do you want? Well, young Penfold here is not too bright. Hey! And I don't think he quite understands how powerful you are. Oh! <laughs> Be a shame if we popped off without him realising how brilliantly you'd won the contest. Huh? Oh! <laughs> no! Right! Go on, then. You explain it, and I shall demonstrate. Thank you, that's awfully kind. Well, now, Penfold, this genius can actually break the space-time continuum. Pardon? Mm. Connecting a door in our dimension, thus, to one in his own, like so. Oh, clever! <laughs> and there's cleverer yet. See, if the door on his side is closed... Um, excuse me. Oh, certainly. Thus, and then the one on our side is closed. Then we've got the great stupid Nala trap. Ha ha ha! I see. Uh, no, I don't see. 
He's a dimensional demon, right? Right. But he's not in his own dimension, is he? Uh, no. And he's not in ours, is he? Uh, no. And if he's not in either dimension, he's powerless. Wow! He's powerless! He's trapped! Whoopee! Yes, unless some idiot opens the door. So keep your hands in your pockets. I am going to make a phone call. So I called up a friend at NASA, Colonel, who's uh, in the removal business. In the removal business? Yes, he's removed the door and the demon to Alpha Centauri. Alpha Centauri? Who? Who? <laughs> oh, jolly good show, DM. Jolly good show. <laughs> Hello? Hello? Mommy? And so, as the demon wings his way on a mystery tour through space, the world can breathe again. Keep watching, keep waiting, and there'll be another astounding adventure of the one-eyed wonder who watches out for the world, the amazing Danger Mouse. Danger Mouse, Danger Mouse.